Howdy, Fixer. So today I'm going to revisit a video I did last week. Uh, this is part two of the Volvo 580. So the ignition switch, it's not working. If you want to check out the full thing and check out the other video. But so on this, it would only work. The blinkers and getting it out of the park would only work if you took the ignition switch and pushed up. And I'm going to demonstrate here in a second. So I'm going to go off and go on. Nothing. And so I'm going to grab the key, and I'm just going to move up, and you heard it kick on there. So I think that is what the issue is. There's probably something that might be just a little bit loose. So there's a spring not letting it contact, so I'm going to turn All right. And a fixture. So uh, if you watched my video last week, this one is the same thing. This is on a Volvo. I think it was said it was a 97 S60, and we're going up the ignition switch. If you want to see the symptoms, go ahead and check out the first video. Um, so here, I'm actually, I have the new switch, and here is the part number for it. Let's see. That's the part number there. And I pulled off this plastic thing. It's actually the back half of your ignition switch, so it's really not a good idea to do what I did, but I'll be okay. I'm not going to pull on these and get these out of alignment or anything like that. But this is what your new switch looks like. It goes in like thus. And there's a flat blade screwdriver here that holds it into place. And there's one of them on the other side that holds it into place. So I'm going to pry a little bit here and see if I can get this thing out of the way. And once I get that out of the way, then I'm going to try to get the rest. So let's see. So this little clip here, you press on this out of the way. And then you get it like a screwdriver and just kind of pry. And it's nice and easy. And I was... Some of these pushed out, so like this one right here, this red one. So I'm make sure that's back in the place. When I go back together, as you can see, it just it swims back and forth pretty easy. So now we're gonna go after our flat blade. Let's see if I can get that in now. There, get that's pretty easy. Doesn't feel like there's any Loctite in it or anything like that. So. Push that down. All right, so I had to put you down and use two hands here to get this lined up, but it's just under this connector. So I'm gonna make sure this one's all the way out before I leave. I'm gonna go into the next one because this is the hardest one to get to. So I think it's pretty well free spinning. You can see the switch is moving. So I'm gonna get this last one down here. And we'll see if we can see anything as far as what's going on. I'll try to tear this switch apart and see if we can see the problem. So we're just going to lift it out here. So this is the way it works, you see this part here? It goes into the switch and moves it back and forth. So when I'm sitting there and I'm able to move the switch up and down to get it to work, it's actually turning on the internals in here. So there's something inside. So I can, I'm going to break this apart and see if I can see any. So we got this stuff in here. And you can see it has an empty spot. And if you look at this, these two notches, they're recessed a certain way. So you can't put this in the wrong way or it won't line up right. So I got my new one here, and the way it goes in is like this. And you look at my connector, there's a bare spot there, just like there's a bare spot here. So I think that's how it goes in. You can see, so I got it in the place now, and I got my screws, and I'm kind of working it back and forth here. I've already done a little bit of that without you guys on. So I got this top one, and it's tight, and then I'm going to get the last screw down here. And then I'm going to throw my connector on, and I'm going to put that plastic cover back on. So let's see. Got this connector back on because my pins were trying to get all crazy, but it looks the same. I think I got it all lined up like it's supposed to. And then we're going to put this in and then it's going to snap. All right. So let's see if we can reproduce the issue. So, so the problem with this was that you turned the key on and your winch wipe, your blankets would work. wouldn't work. And it might be almost every time. So we're going to turn it on. Yeah, it works. Yeah, so I think we got the problem. No matter movement, will do anything to it. Also, couldn't get it out of part. Now we got it apart like crazy. So we're gonna turn it off, turn it back on, 
And yeah, so I think we got her. So I never showed taking this apart, but this is back. So we have these torques here and it goes up underneath right here. You guys can see it hopefully. So I'm just gonna kind of finger tight that in there right now. And I can't remember exactly the size. It's been about a week. So I think it's like a 25 or something like that. So. All right, so it's just right there. It's the only one that was in there. So I get that nice and tight. And then I got two little teeny teenies here and here. So this is a 15, it goes right through there, 15 torques. And you can see it. Suck it down, make sure all my stuff's in place, and then go to the other side. All right, so now we got the old switch here on the bench, and it has like these little bent-in things. So if you were gonna try to rebuild it or fix it or something like that, it would be kind of hard to do so, because whenever I was prying on this, these metal things just broke. Um, so we're gonna get this to pop out. And now we have the switch, just one solid piece like, like this. So what actually is, there's these little contacts that open and close. And I'll show you, it's, they look like points on like an old distributor. And it's gotten hard and, or a lot of corrosion and stuff and pitted over time. And you can see this one spot. So I will expose it here in a second and just lift up here. And you can look inside there. There's a lot of black and tarnished spots. If you look at the other pins, they're... You know, they look like copper. They don't look as tarnished and as burnt off as like this one is. So I think this was our issue. And when I put it in there, it seemed to work. So thanks for watching. Really. Thanks are good. Be a fixer, fixer, fixer. Be